Now, cancer patients. Cancer patients that are on chemotherapy. If you know someone on chemotherapy, then the chemotherapy suppresses the immune system, the white blood cells that are there to fight. So then cancer patients on treatment are at higher risk to get infection. Then we come to the big duo. That's diabetes and obesity. Patients who are obese have a higher risk of getting diabetes. Diabetes places the patient at a higher risk for infection. Why? Well, as you know, diabetes means that the blood sugar is higher than normal. Patients with high blood sugar have a higher risk of getting infection. Why? Because the sweet environment suppresses the function of those blood cells that are called white blood cells, phagocytes, that will capture whatever bugs that they, there are in the blood, whether there are viruses or bacteria, destroy those, and then suppress the infection. However, patients that are diabetics, they have dysfunctional immune system. The phagocytes don't work that well. So then they're at risk for infection. Also, they probably have poor circulation. So the blood is not getting out of the tissues, and that means that they're not getting enough oxygen to the tissue. And then diabetics are at higher risk for getting different types of infection. And that is why in a recent pandemic, we saw that diabetics were dying more than the healthier patient. And then here we have lupus, 